If you're an out-of-state investor, you're going to want to watch today's show because I'm taking an out-of-state client of mine and walking him through the entire investment process. There's going to be a lot of deep analytical stuff happening here. Van, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I'll be your host. And uh, as I said at the top of the show, I'm working with my man, Van. He's an out-of-state real estate investor, and I'm going to be walking him through the investment process in Cleveland. So if you're a new real estate investor, you're going to want to uh, pay attention because you're probably going to learn something, right? Van, you and I, we've done a few properties together. And another one you wanted me to look at is this one right here, 937 Whitby Road, Cleveland Heights, Ohio. But we're not going to look into this one uh, today, as a matter of fact. I really don't want to look into this one for you. couple reasons. Number one, when I got to it, it was already showing contingent, okay? That means it's under contract. Now, Van, you've been looking at properties and sending me properties you want me to do for you. I think I can help you out here because this is probably the second or the third one that you've sent me that's actually not available, okay? I think you're looking at like Zillow or Realtor.com for your properties. Stop doing that, dog. Don't do that. Let me help you out, okay? You're getting the data too slow, okay? Those websites, what it is, is they aggregate data from the MLS, from brokers like myself, but it takes a few days, so the information's outdated. So if you go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, everything's going to be on that screen for you guys, okay? Scroll all the way down past the shows. Click here for MLS access, right? I've got my direct MLS access available for you guys, okay? And I, I, got, I got all kinds of good stuff in here. I got goodies, man. I got seller finance deals, okay? So if you want seller finance single families, boom. The moment one of those hits the market, you guys get the data. So like if an agent puts it on the MLS at 4 o'clock, you get it at 4 o'clock, not three days later from Zillow. Likewise, sort it out. Multi-family properties, right? Apartment buildings. And then if you guys are looking to do flips, I've sorted it out for homes that would be uh, the homes you would typically target for flips. And I've also broken it all down by the, the grading scales, your A, B, C, D, F class neighborhoods, things of that nature, right? So Van, I think that's what you need to do, right? It's very cheap. The packages start at like 10 bucks. Uh, a lot of them are like 30 bucks, depending on what you get, right? So I think you need to do that, right? Because I think your data, your data is gonna be uh, gonna be more updated, okay? So this particular home, um, that the other one's the other one I'm gonna do for you in a minute, but I want to finish up on this one first, okay? So this particular home, Whitby, right? Already under contract. We're gonna solve that, get you data faster. You're gonna get some real time MLS feeds. Next thing I noticed about this property, there are two more things that piss me off about this property. Uh, I emailed the agent asking her what the rental amount was because they say it's a rented, uh, fully occupied rental property, and she does not have the um, tenant's rent. Right? That's like the the main thing. It's not anywhere on the listing. Right? Couldn't find it anywhere on the listing. Not in any of her comments. Here's all her comments. You know, telling me all this stuff about the house, about the laminate flooring, about the dishwasher, dude. Great. You got a dishwasher, lady. That's cool. But like there's a person living there. How much rent are they paying? That's what matters, right? So I emailed her about that and never got a response. Now, I mean, the property's under contract. So perhaps she doesn't really care because she's already got a buyer. Okay, that makes sense. And then the last thing, they're selling the house as is. And here's the POS, big five-page POS report. I read through it. It's probably like $20,000 or so of POS violations. If you don't know what the POS is, Van, I want you to pause this video, check out a video I got in the show notes below where I explain the POS process. Uh, I don't want to get into uh, the weeds on it here in this video because I've already done it in that video. So check that out. And now going forward, I'm going to assume you and everybody else watching this video understands what the POS is. So you wanted to get 
turnkey house with renters. Uh, this one, 55 Gs, but in fact, it's really going to be like 75 Gs by the time you're done with the, the pain in the butt POS, not what you were trying to do. Plus, it's unavailable at the moment, and I can't even get information on how much that tenant's paying in rent. So I said, screw that property. I don't want to mess it. I don't want to waste the video for you, brother. And I found you a different one. That's the one I accidentally popped on the screen earlier. This is the one I want to look at for you, dude. 1419 Ardoon, Cleveland Heights, right? I, I tried to get you as similar to that one as possible, right? You like that one, so I wanted to get you something similar, okay? So this also in Cleveland Heights. Been on the market forever, 391 days, listed at $67,900. Now, this is an occupied property, and I'm going to get into why it's been on the market forever, all right? Here's some pictures of the home. It's got AC, which, by the way, guys, that's, like, huge, a lot of these properties in the Cleveland market do not have AC. Uh, I know a lot of guys, like guys like to invest with us that are from Vegas, they're like, wait, what? You don't have AC? I, like, isn't that a housing violation? No, it's not. It's actually not that common to not have AC. Tenants typically get like the uh, window units and they put them in their window units. Uh, but when you do get an AC unit, man, that's a huge bonus because, dude, in the summer, it gets hot as hell, man. It does get hot. Uh, but for, you know, these lower class, uh, you know, lower cost, like sub 100K home market, just not a lot of them have AC. So that is a big bonus that there's AC. That'll definitely keep your tenancy a lot uh, longer, right? And here's the photos of the interior that the uh, property manager and the listing agent, this is listed by a company uh, called Remax. They manage the property, right? So they took all these prior to putting the tenant in there, right? Pretty decent, right? We got, you know, kind of gray walls everywhere. I don't like the fact that we got carpet, but, you know, at least they went in and they put a, uh, a dark carpet. Now the kitchen, it's dated as all hell. The floor is pretty cool. That looks like a newer vinyl floor, but I do not like the 1980 faux brick, and I don't think the appliances match the cabinetry, but, you know, it is what it is. We already got a tenant in there. They're already paying rent, right? As far as what that tenant is paying, they're paying nine ten a month, right? So $10,920 is going to come in. Back to the photos, just more of the home, right? They do have the neutral decor throughout. That's what we would have did here, right? They did the agreeable gray looking paint. They did the white trim. The only thing, again, I would have did different is I wouldn't have put the carpet. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. We already got a tenant in there. Fairly modern looking back, uh, you know, uh, kitchen, sorry, not backsplash, kitchen uh, fixtures is what I'm trying to spit out. I would have got rid of this, like, 1990s uh, tall rack, but whatever. I'm just being picky now. Uh, this tub, I probably also would have reglazed this as well. But they, again, these are the photos they had prior to putting this tenant in, and they've already managed to get a tenant in there. So I guess if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? There's your hot water tank. If I had guessed, it's probably a few years old. And then other than that, updated electrical. You know, the house looks pretty good, right? Pretty decent home, right? Pretty decent shape. Tenants already paying nine ten. That is a decent chunk of rent. If nine ten comes in, brother, I anticipate you spending an average of six oh eight a month. So that leaves you with an NOI of three oh two or thirty six twenty four. Now, as far as cost goes, I'm gonna think you're gonna have to pay list price, right? Just uh, you know, thinking you're gonna get a home in Cleveland Heights that's like got a tenant and it's. 50k it's not not practical bro not going to happen 67,900 is probably the right price for this property which may lead you to wonder why in the hell it's been on the market for 391 days give me a memento i will get into that just quickly i want to go through the numbers for you before i get into that if you paid 67,900 with the tenant in there right now that's a 5-3 cap you financed it you'd only need 16,975 down which would result in a 6 0.2% cash on cash return after you paid your mortgage, right? After you pay your mortgage, you're clearing 88 a month, which is nice. You're really, usually a lot of people are trying to clear 50 bucks a door. You're clearing eighty-eight a door, uh, $88 a door, which is great. Another thing, uh, the pure market rent for this home is higher. Okay, they got to rent it at 910, but I kind of nitpicked the renovation a little bit, right? They could have did some things better, right? The the bathroom could have been better, right? They could have reglazed the whole tub surround. They could have got rid of the old 1990s tall uh 
towel rack, right? The kitchen could have been better. They could have got rid of that faux brick, right? So if they really would have banged out the right renovation, like they came close. I liked it. But if they did it, they went one step higher. They should have been renting that house at 1000 bucks a month. So this thing is going to be clearing an average after the mortgage of 88 a month. But you can more than double that if you get it to market rent. So going forward, eventually you're going to turn it over, get new tenants, right? So you make a few changes, right? You'd update the bathroom. You'd update the kitchen. You'd remove that carpet so your, your next turnovers are always cheaper, right? Those are the things you could do to really increase that cash flow, right? So all in all, good property. Now, back to the question I keep asking. Why in the hell has it been on the market for 391 days? It's because of this piece of paper that I'm holding in my hand. It's another situation with the POS. Now, I don't want you to do the POS, right? With this particular, the other property that you were interested in, you'd have to do the POS. The seller made it clear they're not going to handle the POS. The buyer has to do it roughly 20 Gs. Five-page POS. This property, also a five-page POS, and we are not even going to get into it because I don't want you to buy the property at 67900 and then do the POS. I'll give you a, a PDF copy of the POS if you're curious about it, but what I want you to do is make the seller an offer of 67900 and ask them to do the entire POS. They have a property manager that's already managing the property, so they have the ability to get it done. This is a an old POS, right? What I believe happened is the seller did not originally intend on doing the POS, or maybe they thought the POS was going to be very minor. So they listed it over a year ago, and they ordered the POS, which is here in my hand, okay? Here's the thing a lot of people don't know about the POS, right? If you're a seller and you order the POS, the city, they issue these violations. And then you can either A, fix the violations, or B, you can get a buyer to assume those violations. Well, this thing was due by 8-14-2020. It is currently 8-20-2020, right? So it's got to be due by then. So that means you have to do the, the violations. If you don't get a buyer, right? The city still wants that stuff done. So now, sellers in a situation where if they haven't completed this stuff yet, I think they're going to want to because the city's, you know, they're on their butt and they have not lowered this price because I don't think it makes sense to pay 67.9 and then drop 20k on a $20,000 POS. But if you can get the seller to do the POS, you go ahead and pay 67.9 no problem, that's a solid deal. So that's why I looked into this one and the fact that the city going to be on their butt cuz uh, this is an old report. It's time to get those repairs done or the city will issue building code violations and that's bad juju for the seller, man. So you're not the only guy who would be motivating that seller to to do that POS. So the fact that uh, all that's happening and they got a professional property management company already managing the property, they have the ability to do those repairs, right? Like perhaps with this one, A, they priced it where they don't need to do the POS, right? Because they priced it almost $20,000 cheaper, right? With the idea that you are going to do the POS. Well, these people haven't. These people have kept it uh, $20,000 more almost, right? But this particular seller, they may or may not even have, like, the ability to hire a contractor, right? Hiring contractors is hard. Everybody thinks it's like, you know, ordering a pizza. You just call Domino's and they bring you, bring you a pizza, man, dude. Hiring contractors, it ain't that simple, guys. Like, you kind of got to know a little bit about what you're doing to actually navigate the waters and hire contractors. Believe me, man, you know, people that just, like, call random numbers off of Craigslist, they get their money stolen, contractors screw their house up. I mean, everybody that swings a hammer is calling themselves a contractor these days. So you really got to watch out. It's, it's very, very tough uh, to get contracting work done in properties in the rental neighborhoods here in the Cleveland market. So all that is food for thought for you, Van. But, uh, yeah, that's why I switched your property, and I wanted to send you this one. So I've given you pretty much everything I got on this. I've given you the plan I think makes the most sense for you. What you got to do now, reply to the private link, brother. Let me know. Let me and my team know. Do you want to try to move forward? Do you want to try to get this property, or do you want to say, hey, man, I don't know if I want to get into that. Let's adjust, uh, let's adjust again, and let's go do something a little different on the next video. You just let me know. Everybody else, if you like this level of analytics, you like this level of service, uh, which I didn't even get a chance to tell you. By the way, 
Uh, as far as what Van would do after purchasing this property, guys, Holton Wise, we could also do the property management. Like, this property is being managed by somebody else. But Holton Wise, we can handle everything for you after closing. We can handle the property management. We could even handle the insurance and the title work. So it's top to bottom solution, right? So I give you all this education as a fellow investor, as a fellow real estate broker. And then after you close, I could take care of it all for you, right? But it starts with education and it starts with me, you know, making sure you buy the right property at the right price. So if you're interested in that, go to holdwise.com, property search for sale tab, click the MLS search analysis show. Work with me the same way my man Van is doing. I recommend you get the multi-property packages like he did because we've already looked into several properties. And every time I do a video for Van, he, he gives me feedback, let me know like, hey, man, thank you, brother. That's something I didn't think about. With that in mind, let's shift gears. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. If we got to do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten videos before we get to the right property, hey, man, that's cool because what if not doing those ten videos – allowed you to try to make a move on a property and you made a hundred thousand dollar mistake by buying the wrong property right that'd be terrible right so it's a learning process right I'm trying to educate you on the market on how things play out in the real world along with putting you into the right property right because i don't think there's necessarily bad properties i just think there's investors uh, who end up with properties either at the wrong price or they're the wrong investor for the property so i want to match the right investor with the right property at the right price that's what i do so if you guys are interested get a package that's all i've got for today's show if you're a new viewer do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because holton wise tv is real estate investing made easy This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including 
video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.